Isn't she a beauty? Today, we'll be setting up an M4 Mac Mini for a kid. Let's go. So it's gonna be really important that the first thing you do is set up your account as the administrator because you are going to create an additional user once we get logged inside, and then that user is what you're going to set up for the child, and then that is the one that is going to have the uh, different permissions, the not admin level permissions. So it's very important. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to system settings. We are going to go down to users and groups right here. Add user. You're gonna need to enter your password, the administrator, the one, the first account set up here. So the new user account, so this is very important right here. So you're gonna want this just to be standard, not administrator, this is what's key here. Give it the uh, full name, then it creates the account name. Then we're gonna uh, have a password here. And then verify that password. Great user. All right. So now there we go. We're going to go in here. I'm going to change the little icon real quick. You know, let's use, hmm, I'm going to use that cute little doggy and we'll do that icon there. Allow them to administer. No, boom, boom, looking good. Okay. So that's that right now. We got that set, so now we're gonna log out of this admin account, and then we're gonna log in with the standard account that we just created. And here we go, we are now logging in to the new account. So it's gonna start with some of these boot up questions again. Do you need any custom accessibility settings? Not now. Data and privacy, it's gonna let you know. It's gonna show that icon whenever they're requesting that info. All right, so setting up the Apple ID and the screen time post after you get it logged in is a good idea. So I recommend not setting it up right now. Uh, just go ahead and set this up later. Apple intelligence, set that up later. Enable Siri, set that up later. Touch ID, that's only if you have keyboard with the touch ID button on it, you can set up touch ID. If you picked up Apple branded uh, Magic, Magic Keyboard, you can use this Touch ID. Set that up later. Okay, choose your look, light or dark. I'm gonna set this account up on auto, so it'll automatically go between a light and dark. All right, continue. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. All right, we are going to go to desktop and dock, and I am going to move the little row of icons down here to the left so that kind of all the main menu settings and apps and everything are to the left plus most screens are widescreen like this so you have more real estate in width than you do height so i like to always put this to the left i'm going to shrink it down all right the genie effect the rest of these settings you can go through these if you want and kind of customize them to your heart's content Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I am going to sign in. And this is where I am going to set up the account. So once you get the child's Apple ID logged in, you will get a two-factor authentication code. Make sure that you have any previous child's iOS device near and your device near because it's going to be prompting you for two-factor authentication 
and administrator passwords to get this Apple ID for the child logged into this account. Make sure you remember those passwords and have all of these things ready in advance. You can see here, I forgot the password and it took me a few tries. Once you get the two-factor authentication done, it may start prompting you with notifications informing you that the screen time is activating, it's going to be asking to log into Find My. I would definitely say yes, so that way you can find the location of this device. I was getting pop-up notifications letting me know that this device has now had screen time added, which is going to be the controls that you use to manage this device and its usability with the child. All right, so we've got our user logged in and now it should be good to go. Let's go to wallpaper. We're gonna put this one on here. There we go. It's looking good. So now we have the screen time settings set up. So what this will do, this will allow us, so when we go down here to screen time, this right here is where we are going to be able to control it from the adult side. So that is really good. So now we're going to go here. We're going to go to Steam Install install allow then we're going to open this in finder we're going to open this drag it over the administrator so it will pop up the administrator password to download any programs on here so you won't be able to do it independently we'll take you the administrator to download any uh, programs onto this computer so you could see in the background the time limit window that popped up for QuickTime Player. That's because I'm doing a screen recording and the limitations for the applications he is, can use is set and he doesn't have permission for that yet. So that's why that popped up. Another benefit to this screen time kid limits. Screen time has met its limits, but it's still screen recording. Let's see how that goes here. Oh boy, this one too. All right, let's close that. Let's close that. Let's close that. Let's go up here to the apps. All of these grayed out ones you see here, these are apps that um, have met their screen time limit or yet have not had permissions allowed. So these grayed out uh, apps, that is what you're seeing there. All of these are apps that are currently allowed right now. So let's go over to here, see how that's grayed out. If they try to click on it, you need to install Rosetta. Yes, we're gonna install Rosetta. And once again, administrator. So you can see here we have apps that are, they say time limit, see like under mail time limit. Under the TV app, time limit. You could see that that there's a time limit on there. So they gray out. So that's what it looks like when they've hit their time limit um, on these applications. So that's pretty cool. So Safari, it shows it open, but it doesn't show anything that they can see. Let's see here. If we try to go to YouTube. Ah, time limit. So see where it says ask for more time. When they click on that, then they could say one more minute, enter the screen time passcode, which you can as, as the administrator or the adult on the child's uh, account, or they could send a request to you. And this is what part I like the best. So when they want a little more time or they're out of the time in there, they could ask for more time and send a request um, or enter the sp screen time passcode. If you are the um, adult on the account, you can have that and do it now. Uh, but this is just really cool and really convenient how it controls this and you can control it from your phone. You'll get this notification to your phone letting you know that they are requesting for more time. So that's just a really cool feature. So that's pretty much it. That is the basic setup steps that I would suggest setting up the Mac for a kid. 
All right, so now once you're on your Mac or your iPhone or iPad, go to your settings. Then right below your Apple ID, you should have a tab that says Family that shows the family accounts that you've created. If you have not set up your child's Apple ID to be a part of family, you will need to do that. I will make a video for that and put it on here soon. So here, you're going to want to click on your child who you just set up the computer for. And then while you're in here, you're going to go down here to screen time. And then you're going to say open screen time, this button here. Once you're in here, you'll be able to do a lot of things. Look at their app and website activity. Look at their notifications, how many times they've had pickups. Their downtime when it comes to apps. You could set those parameters. App limits. You could set those parameters around each and every app and game individually if you'd like. Apps that are always allowed. Screen distance. Communication limits. Communication safety. Website data. There's quite a bit. Lock and screen time settings. App and website activity. So you can set up all these settings for your family member. And it's really excellent. You can do this on your iPhone, your Mac, or your iPad. So I hope this video helped. It was just a quick rundown. I had to hurry up and do this so I could package it back up, get it wrapped up, and get it under the tree. Um, but I wanted you all to see kind of the process and what I went through uh, to make this happen. So there it is, setting up an M4 Mac Mini for a child and getting their Apple ID logged in. Uh, so that way you as the adult can control what is going on on that computer and you can see their screen time history and grant access to apps and duration of the time they use them and everything. So it's really powerful. I'm really excited to see what my child comes up with. If this helps, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing as I continue to put out more tips and tech reviews of what I'm up to to try to help you. So see you next time on Neftech.